Okay, enough with the funny stuff. This is serious now, okay? Somebody sent me a donation. It was a real generous one, and I want to uh, uh, now reciprocate by giving information, okay? Um, I do have a mentor. It's someone whose YouTube channel I watch to learn a lot of things from. And um, I learned a lot about the Matrix game from this mentor, okay? And one of the things that she said is that um, um, there's there's uh, prizes, not prizes. There's you get you get moved ahead in the game if you help other players. Okay, if you help other players. Now she didn't specify what kind of help that might be, but I think it could be anything. It could be financial help. It could be energetic help. It could be information you give. It could be tips. It could be, it could be many things. Um, so I'm going to give some serious information in this video. Another thing that she says is that, uh, oh, by the way, I'm a Denver Bronco, okay? Never doubt me. I'm a Denver Bronco, okay? <laughs> One, another thing that she says is, um, no, 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 I interrupted myself and forgot what I was going to say. Damn! Oh, damn. I'll have to edit this. I'll have to edit this damn video. I'm going to have to edit the fuck out of this video. I hate editing, but I'm going to have to. I can tell I'm going to have to edit this one. Oh, okay. Um... Oh yeah, I know what it was. She says that um, according to whatever uh, um, vibrational frequency you're resonating at, which could be um, anything from, uh, I think, a level five on up. If you're below level five, you're in the red zone. That means you're probably drinking, smoking, taking drugs or something, or you eat bags of junk food and slosh down Pepsis all day or something. And you're going to be low vibrational if you do that. So, um, you know, she gives tips on how to raise your vibration too. But she says that you will not find certain kinds of information unless you are vibrating at a certain level. Okay? You won't even see those videos. I'm thinking that might be why a lot of uh, why my videos aren't being seen by a lot of people, possibly. Um, but anyway, <laughs> if you're vibrating at a higher frequency, you will find this. Okay. Now I know how to tell what mine is, and I will I, not to brag or anything, but I'm almost always a level eleven. Okay. I do resonate with. The, uh, the number 1111. 11. I'm an 1111-er, okay? So, this is high-frequency information. It's high-freak. I'm high-freak. Do I look like a high-freak to you? Look at me. Look at me. Just look. <laughs> I am a high-freak, but I don't, I don't get high anymore, okay? I used to, but I think that's part of Oh, look, my crown's on a little crooked. And that's why it took me so goddamn long to wake up. But even when I was doing that, I was a high freak. Even when I was doing that. And the whole time I was in training for this stupid gladiator contest, I was absorbing all the information, seeing everything, getting all the receipts, taking notes, even as they were making fun of me. Okay? I worked full time all my life. And I ended up in an industry that is kind of like that TV show, Mad Men. Remember that character who went to the funny farm? She smoked a lot. <laughs> I remember they came in and they talked about that show and snickered at me. And I was like, what the fuck, you know? I knew, I knew what the show was about, but I refused to watch it. There are certain entertainment that I never watched, like I boycotted 
all the Harry Potter movies, and that probably slowed me down too. That put a big dent in my game that I wouldn't watch those. <laughs> you know, I didn't even know it, but I was working at Hogwarts, you know. I was working at a, in a skunk works type laboratory in Boulder, Colorado with all the other red flamingos, okay? These are some of the people I'm really mad at. I'm really mad at you. I'm really, really mad at you. And I'm gonna tell more about what those people did. You know, the honest potato chip people. Yeah, what a bunch of fakes. All right, that's enough about that. I'm not gonna, uh, you're not supposed to say names. Okay. Here's the information that you need. A lot of people, okay, that are reading tarot cards. Sorry, I'm gonna move the camera now. A lot of people that are reading tarot cards um, are, are really are victims of a certain notorious uh, experimental program. Um, it's affiliated with, um, with an agency of the United States government that, that goes to space, right? They had the space shuttle and that one, that, that, that one. Okay, and you know, they have, a, they have a, a red V in their logo. You ever notice that? That logo they have has that weird looking red V thing in it. Yeah. Well, you know, that's like where I worked. They got a red V in their logo too. Hmm. When, when I, one of the first things I started doing when I woke up was researching what the hell is going on. That was when I got fired from my job working at the notorious, um, uh, used to be called an institute. Now it's called a university. It's in that same city where the flat irons are, okay? The flat irons. Lovely city, lovely place, but it's, it's another one of these fake towns like the one where I am now. And what's going on there? It's like a corral for the victims of this program, okay? So a lot of you out there that are reading tarot cards are victims of this program, okay? It was, it was a line of programming in this program. You were programmed, okay? And tarot cards are at, were used to program you, okay? And you might even be getting triggered by them. If you haven't broken through the matrix yet, you might be getting triggered by your tarot cards into, you could even be getting triggered into alternate personalities. Sometimes when people get triggered into these personalities, they don't know who they are anymore and they don't remember what they did later. When I first woke up, one of the first... Um, and started researching online to find out what the hell's going on. I wanted to know what the secret was. What is going on, you know? I knew, I just knew something wasn't right and it felt like somebody was withholding information from me all the time. It felt like I was the only one who didn't know the secret. One of the first things that I found was uh, a website that uh, had uh, a famous book on it by a famous author, very notorious, named Fritz Springmeier, okay? Six of cups, eight of cups in reverse. You had an upside down childhood. Some, something happened in your childhood that turned you upside down and made you unable to ever walk away from this. See that moon? It's the secrets.
This is top secret shit, okay? And, and uh, be careful if you want to go research that. If you think you're one of these people, you can get triggered out reading about it. I didn't believe that, and I went right into it. I plowed right into that thing. And what it did was it woke me right up. I, I, and I read about all the triggers and all, this, all the rumors, and, you know, hey, you know, I've been a gulper since 2003. I went there to research too. I, that place has been totally fouled up. Uh, you know, I don't even go there anymore. It's so toxic. But I, but back in those days, you could still go in the archives, and there was a lot of stuff. Now they've just junked it all up. It's been all spammed up. Okay, so it's hard to find information. It's harder to find information there than it used to be. Okay, gulp. If you're a real truther, you know what I'm talking about. Gulp. <laughs> you know. Uh, you know, John Claude and the gang know Jay Snip and those people. They know what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Those people are messing with you. They just trying to sell you some silver. <laughs> nah, don't go there. Yeah, this is what they're doing. They're, they're all about the money. Jingle jangle, jingle jangle. Yeah, watch out for those people. What else? Oh, I, they might take a loss too because I think those people are peddling, uh, you know, they may be peddling, inadvertently peddling pyramid schemes, not realize it. There's another tip for you. Don't follow that crowd, okay? You got to, I don't know, watch out. I told you, what's going on here is um, the game's moving faster and faster now because people are starting to figure things out. So it's unlocking, and the more it unlocks and the more we help each other, the sooner it'll be over. The sooner we'll all be out of our cages, we'll be free again. So if, if you um, like the information in this video, If it resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you again. You ain't going nowhere, neither am I, till this fuck shit is over.